All right, YouTube, what's going on? We got a video today on Core Essentials belts. Now, this is not the first time I reviewed this product on my channel. I have done it in the past a couple times, uh, including their leather belts, which you see here, and my current EDC belt, which I recommended in my um, tips for concealed carry for those new. This is the belt I recommend for concealed carry. Uh, buckles are great. You've got infinite adjustment, essentially, with this track system. So you can really snug the gun up. You know, once you have it in your waistband, you can really snug it up, make it comfortable. Then if you want to let it out a little bit, you just click on this little lever, let it out a little bit. Maybe you're eating Thanksgiving dinner, or, you know, at the buffet or something. You need to let it out. <laughs> there you go. So this has been my go-to EDC belt. Um, this is their tactical belt with the X7 buckle, I believe. Verifying, this is the X7 buckle. Yes, all lots of different buckles available. If you have a belt, want to get a different buckle, it's like 20 bucks for a new belt. So it's it's very affordable. Um, but this is great and all for EDC and stuff, but there's those times where you are got to dress to the nine, right? You got to get in your suit, you got to get in your church clothes, you got to go to wedding, funeral, whatever, and you still want to conceal carry. They got an option for that too. Uh, they've got these really nice leather belts. Uh, this is a much improved over the original leather belt I have with the uh, buckles, this is the X3, and then I've got the X6. Uh, so they do two different types of buckles and two different colors of belt. I've got the black and then the brown. I haven't cut the brown down yet. I won't use it as much, but I'll still cut it down. Um, so I just cut, finished cutting this one to where I want it, um, sizing, and, and to do that, all you do, well, I'll just demonstrate on the brown belt, is you see all these little numbers here on the belt. They're upside down. Let's flip it around. There we go. You got 28 all the way up to 44 inches. Now you can get a bigger size if you're bigger than 44. Um, I'm around 34 waist, so I usually cut mine to about 37, 38, give me a little bit, a little extra room. Um, but what you do is you just literally take a pair of scissors, some sharp scissors, and you cut it. Um, and you can cut it with that. I also use a pocket knife, like a really sharp, like I use my pair of three here. Um, and I, I start the cut with that and then kind of finish it off with the scissors because the scissors kind of struggle a little bit, but the knife kind of goes right through it. So you cut that off and then you attach your buckle like so, super easy. You just slide it in here. Now what you got to do is you got to take the included Allen key. See, this is a huge improvement over the original Core Essentials belts. The original Core Essentials belts didn't have this. And after a while, they would wear out and these teeth would kind of be stuck in that same leather for a long time and then they would kind of wear out and, and then i've actually had the buckle come off before uh this is prior to them adding these set screws so you unscrew these set screws until you can get the belt in all the way there you go now if i wanted to uh this is too long for me but I, what i would do is just clamp this down you can see those sharp spiky teeth there you clamp that down and then you just secure the uh, set screws with the included Allen wrench and you're good to go and it's never going to move. So I'm going to cut the brown bench eventually down. Um, but I, you know, like I said, I bought these so I could, when I wore dress clothes, uh, a suit, a tie, shirt and tie, whatever, you know, I do go to church pretty regularly almost every Sunday and um, I do carry in, in the church. Um, some people are like, carrying in church, that's crazy. Well, you obviously haven't seen the number of mass shootings that have happened in churches. So look that up and then tell me I'm crazy. But um, I like to carry on church. I carry tucked, so it's tucked in, and I needed a bigger belt. This is the belt I was using before. Now, this is just your standard Kirkland Costco belt, right? Super flimsy. Yeah, and I wasn't carrying, I don't carry a very big gun. I carry a Sig P365, um, but it still was a little flimsy. This is nice and rigid. Not as rigid as this, the tactical style belt, the EDC belt. But you don't need this, you know, in, in, in church clothes and stuff. That just doesn't look good. Uh, this looks stylish. doesn't look like it's a gun belt. looks like a normal belt. It's got a nice looking buckle. And you just, you can ratchet it, cut it where you want it. And then you got a nice uh, belt for everyday carry. Now, if you dress nicely, like you're in the office setting, and you have to maybe wear business casual, you might want to get a belt like this too, because it would be a better choice, I think, in the tactical belt. And um, really kind of blend in. looks like a normal belt, but you could also carry... Um, so really good options. Ton they got black and leather, black, black and leather, black leather, brown leather, different styles of, of, um, of buckles. Um, if you want to like, maybe you get bored, want to change up your buckles. Like I said, you can just order them. But one of the coolest things you can get too, and I know this is funny, 
But I think belts are the worst thing in the world to hang up in a closet. Like, they're worst. So, I actually need to get another one of these from them because I've got three belts. This fits two. What you do, it's, it's for your belt, and you just, look at that. You use the buckle, and it secures on there, and you're hanging those up in your belt and your closet, and they hang nicely. I always use a hanger, and they just kind of fall over the hanger bins. So this is really nice. I need to get another one of these. I uh, actually think I might have another one laying around the house somewhere. So you can actually secure your belt um, with this hanger. So Props Core Essentials, um, great product. Been a big fan of them for a long time. They do sponsor the channel. They did send these out for review, so disclosure on that. But I, you know, I recommend them for a reason because I think they're hard to beat for the and adjustment you get in the belts um, and the different amounts of buckles you can get. So if you carry appendix, this one's very, this one sits a lot flatter. So it's good for appendix carry. I don't carry appendix, but it works really well. But just the adjustment you get is you really can't be beat. You know, you don't have to worry about belt loops um, and they're very sturdy and strong to hold up your, the weight of your firearm. So highly, highly recommend them. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can buy them. Um, and wanted to again thank the Core Essentials for sending these out to me. And we will see you on the next video. See, clean looking. Looks like a nice leather belt. This is the X3 buckle. You never know this is a gun belt.